Hey, what is up people? Skywalker Hendricks here back with another video for you guys today. And today I want to talk about a little kind of topic I've been meaning to make a video on forever now. Uh, I actually remember making the thumbnail a long time ago. Uh, but I do want to talk about if FOMO still exists. So, FOMO, for those who don't know, is fear of missing out. And in the figure community, especially, it was, I think, uh, I'm going to argue that point. Uh, it was a big thing, especially back in the day uh, when, you know, figures, especially, you know, higher end collectibles and stuff, had, you know, limited releases or once it sold out, you know, that's the end of the figure, uh, you, you know, you can't get it anymore. Um, but I, I just don't think that exists much anymore, and especially FOMO in general, I don't think really is a thing anymore in the collecting community. Now, the last time I kind of saw it in the community was in the Hot Toys collecting community, uh, when the Artisan Anakin Skywalker came out, uh, which has the rooted hair, and I'll throw a picture up for those who aren't familiar, but people went crazy over this. There were 3,000 uh, made, or to be made, and, you know, once it sold out, it was done, and that's, you know, how many there are gonna be. And I saw a lot of people freak out. And that's actually what made me think of doing this uh, as a video, was I, it kind of reminded me that I haven't seen this reaction in the community um, for a long time. And I tried to think back to when, in the Black Series specifically, when the last time I felt like there was FOMO. And as you can see in front of you, two of the Clone Wars exclusive, tar or Target exclusive Clone Wars figures. Uh, these kind of were the last time, I think, in the Black Series, people were freaking out that they were going to miss a release. Uh, I believe, you know, most things are pretty easily available nowadays online. So I just don't think that there's much, you know necessity or fear that you're not going to be able to get something, I think that you're pretty much guaranteed to get whatever you want, um, you know, as long as you have the money and you, you know, eventually you're going to be able to get it, uh, you know, with how many online shops there are and eBay and all that type of stuff, you're going to get what you want eventually. And I think with the limited release type stuff, they just don't do it as much anymore, so I think when they do, uh, I think it makes it a little bit more special. So, yeah, I just, it's very interesting. And then, you know, thinking back further, the other time I think that there was huge FOMO in the community was when the original Clone Wars wave came out that was Walmart exclusive, with the 332nd and Ahsoka, uh... That was, you know, when I, f it was like around the time I first started collecting, so uh, that was a big thing for me, and I feel like, yeah, but, you know, since these, the last Clone Wars waves, um, I don't think there's really been any FOMO in the, in the Black Series specifically for a long time, and, you know, especially with Hot Toys, that stuff's pretty much readily available as well. Um, obviously, a little more limited than Black Series, but uh, yeah, I just, it, it's interesting. So let me know down in the comments, do you guys think that there is FOMO still in the collecting community? Or do you think it's kind of, you know, subsided for uh, the most part? Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Channel memberships are live. If you like wasting money, you can come waste your money with me. I also am doing a giveaway, so I do suggest subscribing and, you know, liking, commenting, all that stuff. Enter in my giveaway. Go find my giveaway video. Um, 
And yeah, I'm giving away a few Hot Toys, a SH Figure Arts Anakin, and a bunch of Black Series figures, so make sure you go enter. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Peace out. May the Force be with you. Ayy.